Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! It's time to start the Cave of Ordeals, but only if you're prepared. <laughs> I did a couple of stuff off camera here. I got myself two blue potions. I replaced the fairy and the lantern oil with the two blue potions. I also refilled all my stuff so it's at max. And I'm going to transform into a human. I've also maxed out my health up there. I got a good enough rupee count in case I want to use the magic armor for this place. Be warned, this might be the hardest challenge in the game. But if you ask me, I think it's roll goal. <laughs> there are 50 floors to this place. Uh, tw 45 of them have enemies and they get progressively harder as you keep going further down into it. You'll see as we go. But this place is quite a challenge, do not underestimate it. So, you you can, you, like you can see there's enemies down there before you even drop down there. You could, if you wanted to, sort of snipe them with your bow and arrow. But you probably want to conserve your stuff most of the time because the enemies in this place don't really drop anything of worth. Like, uh... That was all for the first floor, really. <laughs> like, uh, they don't have anything that would refill your equipment, but you can get rupees from them and stuff like that. But yeah, once you defeat all the enemies on a floor, you can move over to the next floor. Now, there are three Poes in this place. They are on the 17th, 33rd, and 44th floors. Uh, I just thought I would mention that, so you will absolutely have to go to the very end of this place in order to get through it. And I'm just going to divide and conquer by starting at one side of the room and going to the other while conserving stuff. Uh, since I have so many potions that recover full health, it's like I have 99 hearts. <laughs> Wait, PK Gam, but you would actually have 100 hearts if you use that. No, not exactly, because you have to have... You know, you have to be alive to use one of the potions, so you have to have at least a quarter of a heart left. <laughs> Um, from here... Whoa. Wait, actually that would work, wouldn't it? At least for some of them. Yeah, I'm gonna... Try and get them... Oh, maybe that won't work. Well, I can... Get them off the ceiling ahead of... I'll do them one at a time, like that, from the ground here. Because now I can... Whoa! Almost took a hit there, and I do not want to take too many hits. Even this early, because I want to conserve health. Okay, now the other ones are on the ceiling. So, I'm going to do them one at a time. I'm going to start with the one on the opposite corner. And then I'm going to kill it off. It's all about the strategy in terms of controlling, uh, conserving health. So, be very careful as you go. Even if, you know, these all these enemies just have scratch damage, it, it builds up over time. <laughs> So, it, it's kind of like those random Zubat battles in the Pokemon days. <laughs> um, I think I'll start off on this side of the floor here, and then take on this one first. Um, yeah, I want you to get on your hind legs. I feel like you're going to strike like that. I got the hang of defeating you guys. <laughs> Wait for it. Like that. Wait for the sound, actually, and then start swinging the sword like crazy. Oh, a little too early there. There you go! Voila! Another floor bites the dust. Oh! I should also make a mention here that you might want to transform into a wolf uh, after you start losing health and then looking around floors for dig spots because sometimes you can find health uh, in the floor, like some hearts that you can dig out in the floor. Pretty well hidden though, but uh, otherwise I would stay as a human most of the time and just simply try to conserve health. But if you need the he hearts, just don't hesitate to look for... Oh, jeez. They have very good range. <laughs> um, now, this is what I mean about the strategy here. Do you want to jump down and attack them, or do you want to snipe them from a distance? And the thing about that is, I think I would like to jump down and get them, because I'm going to take a hit if I were to... Ah, oh, I didn't take a hit somehow. Yeah. Ah, I took a hit. 
See, if I were if I were to attempt to snipe them from a distance, as you've seen, all three of them shot at you at once, and there's no way to shoot faster than them, before, you know, before they get you. So I just decided to jump down, and ooh, we got ourselves a dark room with a bunch of uh, torch slugs. Can I like? Will this kill you? It will kill you instantly. And here is the strategy aspect. Oh, missed one somehow. You don't want to use too many arrows too, so I'll try and be accurate. And there's a couple stray ones on the floor. I guess I could have got them from the the, the ceiling as I mean, uh, got them from the upper level before I jumped down here as well. But eh, I figured no, I'm I don't I don't think so because I'll I'll save arrows because they're really really slow and it's not like they have that good of a range. All right, let's keep going. Uh, also, make sure your lantern is filled up, because I'm pretty sure you need oil for this place, but you don't need, like, a specific... I mean, you don't need a lot of oil, so you don't need to, like, carry an extra bottle of oil or something like that. Just use it whenever you need to um, refill your lantern. And you're gonna get in my way? Not for long! <laughs> I'm just gonna try and stay on one side of the room, and... I guess I can go around the perimeter now and just start picking them off one by one. You, come on. Yeah, these first ten floors are really, really easy. And then it starts picking up after that. These are like warm-ups. Oh, and by the way, it, it doesn't even pay to come in here until you get the double claw shots, because you can't finish the place without the double claw shots. So, yeah. <laughs> And that's also why you want to prepare so so well ahead of time to make sure that you got all a bunch a bunch of potions and stuff like that. Ooh, tech tight room. Should be fun. I'll just start on one side again and start attacking. And whoop. Delightful. And as they keep coming for me gradually, I'm just gonna keep picking them off one by one. What that? And I don't think this one's seen me yet. No, it did. There we go. I'm doing pretty well so far. I just had that one tiny hit earlier. I'm not really searching for hearts, as you can see here, because I'm. Not, I just. It's kind of bad for video time. Oh, Lizaphos! Oh man, I am so scared. <laughs> oh, there's actually some archer goblins in here. They're goblin archers. So actually, that is that's kind of an issue. Well, at least these guys are. They're much more threatening than the Lizaphos. <laughs> I didn't see them before I jumped down here, so they sneak attacked me. Mm, Okie dokie. Not too shabby so far. And... Oh, this is the, f the 10th floor, I guess. And if you go here and talk... You will meet up with a new character! Well, it's not new to the Zelda city series, but... It is the Great Fairy! So beautiful. So majestic. And probably pruny, because she looks like she's been sitting in the spring for a while. <laughs> Why, thank you. You talk as slow as the spirits. <laughs> so I should probably click through your text. So yeah, every 10th floor, you'll... Re re I mean, she'll release fairies to the springs that you've already been to. Like, in this case, it is the Ordon Spring. And you can get, get your nice fairies in a bottle from there from here on out, rather than having to go to a... or go near a boss store to get fairies. No, I don't want to go to the surface. If you ever leave this place or die, you have to start from the very beginning. And you don't want to do that, but... I'm, I'm kind of afraid to talk to you again, because it might... Um, I'll just talk to you and see what happens. I, I don't want to go to the surface, I just want to see what you have to say. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll have a choice in the matter. Okay. No, I do not want to... Okay. <laughs> I was a little afraid that she'd warp me out here, and then I have to cut ahead for me, you know, having to come back through those first ten floors again. But whatever, that's what I mean about... Um, that there's only 45 floors out of 50 that you have to go through because every 10 floors you come across a fairy fountain like that anyway next floor what do we have we got some claw shot targets of course um 
No. Why is that? Is that just blocking the door just because? <laughs> oh, oh, that's a track. I see, okay. So I don't really have to face the enemies in this room now, do I? Because I can just use the spinner to get through this place. And I think I will do that. <laughs> oh, I already got it out. Whee! It's, it's about conserving energy, basically, more than anything. Although, what if there's actually something here? I just thought of that as well. That, because if I'm, I might miss a chest or something. I mean, as I said, I'm not getting the, the chests outside of the dungeons that don't have ma- I mean, at places that don't have maps that indicate where there's treasure chests. Uh, I should clarify what I mean by 100% when I say 100%, especially in, like, Zelda games that have optional stuff and whatnot, because, um, it's like, when you- if you have something, like, some sort of checklist or limited amount of things that you can see, so to speak, or, like, up, up a set of upgrades or something like that. I intend on collecting all of that stuff. But if, if there's nothing marked and there's like no indication of that, it's it's like, well, what's the point otherwise? <laughs> because it, it's not like the chest is mocking you, saying, "Hey, yeah, I am I am a chest at this location." So, oh, I did have to defeat the enemies in this room to open that door. Oh, okay. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, it's not like that there is a chest that is saying, hey, uh, I am here, uh, I am just waiting for you to get me and whatnot, so... Yeah, oh, are you serious? How do I get in that... Do I have to go like that? Ah, oh, okay, that works. <laughs> so I think you get what I mean now. I, I just go for all upgrades, all heart pieces, all collectibles, like pole souls and stuff like that. But I don't, I don't go for, like, the, the tiny chest that you can... That, that essentially give you stuff that you can collect in grass and stuff like that. Oh wow, that is... That uh, purple chew there, it must have collected a lot of chews. To become that big. Alright, let's just start slashing at it. Wow, it's, look how many pieces this sucker has. And do not drink the purple chew jelly. That, that would not end, up, end well sometimes. So I'm just not going to scoop that and rely on the delightful morsels that I have in my possession right now. Mm. Okie dokie. Let's look around. What do we have? Oh, we got these. So, claw shots. And I'm going to try and get one at a time. Like this. Yeah! <laughs> So you'll notice that I aimed from a distance, so I didn't attract the other ones, so I don't have to, like, battle more than I have to at one time. That's another way to conserve energy. No, I should say conserve health. Okay, so I'm going to take on this one. Missed. I thought he was going to move forward a little more, so I aimed ahead, but he decided to stop. Oh well. Alright, one more. You know, notice I'm also not getting close enough to uh, Z-target them. Because if I get too close, they'll see me and then they'll start coming for me. You get the idea. So I'm just aiming manually. Again, it's a strategy aspect. Uh, is that a bunch of rats? Oh, no. Oh, oh. I betcha these are going to turn into bubbles. I bet you. Yep. Oh, my. <laughs> That's a lot of bubbles. Actually, it's a lot of skulls in general. <laughs> like, it's, it's a different a lot of variations on them, I should say. And, yeah, oh, 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 where'd you come from? I heard you, but I didn't know where you came from. I, I don't really like to close in on them too much, because then it starts a whole swarm of them coming at me. <laughs> Oh, and always keep in mind you have your spin attack. Very handy to have, may I add. Is it, This room is kind of frosty, by the way. In case you didn't realize that, it's kind of odd. <laughs> Alright. What do we have? Uh, just a bunch of goblins. Where should I start from, though? Probably here, I guess. And start like that. Because I do a lot of damage to them. And... I wanted to do a spin attack. Why wouldn't you let me spin attack? 
That's why I was standing there for a second there, because I expected I would be do able to do a spin attack while they closed in, but no, I ended up getting some more scratch damage. Ah, curses. Ooh, dark room. Should I be worried? Probably not. <laughs> Ooh, rats. The rats are actually kind of annoying because they, again, do the little scratch damage, and they're pretty swift as well. And we got zoo bats flying around. It's <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> I know those are keys, but it reminds me so much of Pokemon and the rampant zoo bat attacks of little enemies. Oh, one left. One second. I was wondering why I didn't hear the door open. Where is the door anyway? Oh, there it is. Good. All right. What do we have? Oh, there's the first pole. Um. Well, that's just gonna hang there, so I'm gonna end up. Whoa! Stall hounds. Nope! I wanted to do a spin attack again. Why are you not responding to me, Nunchuck? When I swing, you're supposed to. Now it doesn't too late. <laughs> yeah! That's what I wanted to do because these guys are. They're best taken care of all together, and these guys have a lot more health. Than, than the ones outside Hyrule Castle. That kind of threw me off there because I, I expected to kill them in one hit. Anyway. Um, finish! Woo. Two more poles to go. The end is in sight. Wait, wait, actually, before I do that, because this room practically encourages me to turn into a wolf. I figured there might be some big spots, because, you know, you have to be a wolf to get the pole soul, and I figured, eh. <laughs> or maybe I should have defeated those stall hounds as a, um, as a wolf, maybe that would have did more damage. You know, with the lock on B attack, okay, there, this is going to be a surprise room, because there's nothing here, or it doesn't seem like there's anything here, yet. I know there's something here. I mean, this is the Cave of Ordeals, after all. Ah! Beavers. They, they just swarm around me, though, mostly. Yeah, so you can just spin attack, and they, they just kind of flop like a top. You know how they spin out once they run out of uh, spin power? You get what I mean. Uh, I got Chew. Probably, it's probably going to combine with something else. Uh oh Ah, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay, you guys combine if at all possible, actually, because although, come to think of it, that might be worse. Because <laughs> I, because it's because they have to. I mean, I have to split them back up. You get what I mean? But I'm doing a pretty good job at taking care of them, so I'm not too worried here. They, the chews take a while to attack. They. And uh, they only do the scratch damage, as described before. But the more of them that combine, the more annoying they are to take care of, I guess. But at the same time, it's easier to manage them when they are in one spot. You know, and just divide and conquer the bigger ones. So that's why I'm kind of torn as to what kind of strategy I want to use on this floor. Oh well. It's done anyway. <laughs> and maybe I should start looking for... Uh, hearts from here on out, because I, I believe each dig spot gives you like three hearts that you find if there is a, a dig spot that gives you hearts. And where's... oh, there it is. <laughs> At least just to conserve energy. Oh! Hello. How's it going? <laughs> I'm expecting the maniacal laugh. No, that's only an Ocarina of Time in Majora's Mask. <laughs> It's just that when that music plays, I, I, I just hear that <laughs> in with it. You know that laugh that I'm talking about. And she's going to release fairies to the Pharaon Spring. Awesome. No, I will not speak with you. I will continue on to the very end. And anything else in this room? Uh, I don't see anything, so let's just move on. 
Let's see. Oh, God. Oh, I thought that was a freeze art at first. Cause those things are really annoying to get. But I do need the ball and chain to take care of them. Can I, like, just for the heck of it, kill them? Nah, I didn't think so. The range is just too far out. Well, do not have the Zora tunic on in this room, otherwise the ice damage will do a crap load. <laughs> I don't mind if you guys come first, I'll just one-shot you. In fact, all the enemies in this room are one-shots. Is that all? Yep. I hear the door opening. I think I'm gonna do the first 30 floors in this part, and then uh, stop the part and then do the last 20, because they're gonna be the most uh, taxing of all the floors. Alright, let's see here. It just looks like a bunch of keys and some rats. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know where to drop down from. I guess here will do. And I'm gonna go to the center and... Wait, what? Uh oh, I know. I see, I see. Yep. Ghost rats. Because I just stopped in the middle of everything, and it, it seemed odd that it, you know, that I just wasn't moving there very much there, and, I mean, yeah, you get the idea. I don't mind the ghost rats all that much, but when I'm in the middle of a room with other enemies that can hurt you, that's kind of an issue. <laughs> uh, how many more are here? This is definitely a room they want you to be a wolf in. Is this going to be some hearts? Ah, see what I mean? Every, that, every dig spot is like three hearts. Okay. I mean, any, any dig spot that you find. Wait, what? Still more? Oh, I didn't see you on me. <laughs> or maybe, well, you weren't on me before. Is that it? Okay. Good. Let's go. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't drop down yet. I wanted to see strategy here. Okay, I'm, I'm jumping into this blindly, but to the edge of the room again. Oh, just these little stockings. I can take care of them rather easily, actually. <laughs> this is especially nice when you're a wolf. This place gives you a ton of cash. Wow. Great for the magic armor if you need it, I suppose. Which might be the point of the magic armor. But I'm, I'm, as I said, I'm not planning on using it else I really need to. Are these going to be staffles? Oh, no, wait, those are redeads. Or redead knights, excuse me. Um, then I should be a human for this. And drop down somewhere strategically that I only have to deal with one at a time. No! No! Jump to the side! <laughs> There we go. No. Oh, come on. Jump to the side. Jump to the side. I hate when they do that. No. Now they're stunning me all at once. That sucks. That's why I wanted to do only one at a time. If at all possible. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. This isn't looking good. That's not bad. <laughs> no. Stop screaming. And I'm going to jump to this side. Because I'll loop around that one. Yeah. Come on, don't hit, hit me, don't hit me! Ugh. That move is so handy for these guys. That uh, rolling jump attack thing. Yeah, you get what I mean. No! I don't think so. That's two down, one to, I mean, well, four down, one to go, but of those three, it's two down, one to go. Those three are really ganging up on me pretty well. Uh, a little more. That went really well. A lot better than I thought it would. No damage whatsoever. Awesome. Moving on. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. <laughs> that was mean. I seen that coming when I when I seen the fire. There we go. I should have did that. I should have waited outside the door. If they're gonna do traps like that, I want to be the guy. Trickery. I should be extra careful and standing in front of doors. <laughs> No. Hmm. Okay. That one's gonna be really hard to get. Oh man. There's a lot more in here than I thought. 
Whereas the archer, the archer is the real issue here because they can shoot you from a distance. The other ones I can pretty much block any which way I please. I like how there's just a random sniping tower built on there just to create that trap. <laughs> it looks so out of place in compared to the other structure of this dungeon. Okay, so we got... Uh, oh. Staffles, Knights. Okay, so... Wait, wait, actually, can I, like... No, wait, I, I think I tried using the ball and chain before and it didn't work on them. So I'm going to... Oh, they got wooden shields, that's not too bad then. Because eventually I'll break their shields off like that. There we go. Bomb. Quickly. Bomb. Quickly. Because <laughs> you need the bombs to block their remaining... Remains and yeah, before they regenerate. So those staffles are deader than dead. <laughs> I mean, they they were they were humans, then they became skulls, and now they're pretty much nothing. Is there a uh, saying for something that is deader than dead? But what is that like purgatory or something like that? <laughs> okay, so we got some of those, I suppose, you know, skull to laws, but. I'm, just, I'm worried about the other things that might be in the room here. Like, I'm betting that all these are going to turn into enemies. Yep. All these skulls will turn into enemies that can hurt you. Like, see, they're... Like those uh, skull to laws, they're on the web, so they aren't going to do anything until you get really close to them. And that's why I'm not worried about them at all. Because I'll just do them one at a time. Good. Hmm. Alright, now, what if I do this? Did that do any damage? No, it didn't. Well, maybe it did damage. Yeah, I think it did do a little damage. Because it took less sword swings to hit him, so I'm just gonna do it like that. Ooh, that was good timing. <laughs> In fact, it even surprised me how good the timing was. I just wanted to pull out my sword there. Oh, oh there we go. And that is all. For this floor, at least. Boop. What do we got? It's quite a lot of enemies. Although they're all pretty easy enemies. I'll just start at the corner and let them all swarm towards me, I guess. Or at least some of them will. One at a time. See, the thing is, is that while while they aren't very tough enemies, they all take a, a lot of hits to the feet. And that, and that might actually end up make, making you slow down if you uh, don't divide and conquer. But that's why I went towards the edge of the room before I jumped down first. Dang, invulnerability time. <laughs> Where are all you guys coming from? Are you guys, like, plopping in from the ceiling? Or... Teleporting in from somewhere. I, I don't. I don't recall there being that many of you guys in here. <laughs> but whatever. That one pretty good. Moving on. Hmm. More stalking and staffles knights. Then I probably should be a wolf just for these guys first. Because they are, I mean, Wolf Link, ah! <laughs> Wolf Link is incredibly efficient at taking care of these. But I do not want to awaken. And I awakened it. <laughs> That's fine. I'll just lead it away from the other ones. Oh, this one's got an iron shield. That's a problem. That's a spicy meatball. <laughs> I'm just trying to get a... How would I do this? I'm gonna put away my sword. And then... Oh, I thought that was... Oh, right, right, you gotta... Charge it up. I I'm trying to remember how to do... That, uh, technique. Where you, uh, have an unblockable move, basically. And it will... Let's see if I can get that other one, they get me hit by the bomb. 
Whoa, that just annihilated it. I don't think I have to worry about them. It seems like they're weak against bombs, even when they're at full health. Like, they just get one kid killed. I'll take care of these one at a time. So maybe what I should have did with those um, Staffles Knights was threw bombs at them from the upper tier and see if I could reach them. That would have just killed their corpses immediately. Well, maybe. Maybe, maybe they're uh, invulnerable there. Oh, here's the 30th floor. What do you have to say? Before I end off this part. <laughs> Gonna unlock some fairies, probably at the um, Kakariko Spring. Why, thank you. It, it wasn't that hard, really. <laughs> Just look at my health, dang it. But the last couple floors are gonna be pretty tough. Yeah, the Elden Spring, that's the one I'm thinking of. The one at Kakariko. Mm, Okie dokie. So, with that, I'm going to end off this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.